Well, everybody in YouTube world, it is getting to be the middle of November, just before Thanksgiving. I hope all of you are doing well and nice and safe. Uh, it is a beautiful night out tonight, and I thought I'd share with you sort of what I've been doing recently on the E120. Now, if you're familiar with these, you'll see that this light scheme is not normal. And I that was by design. Everything else is pretty stock on this unit, except for a couple of electronics I've switched out. But one thing about it was the lighting system was really poor, and I was afraid to have it in the house. So I was going to have to rewire it, um, change all the ballasts, and do some other things. And I thought, you know, I think I'm going to switch it to LED. And then I'm going to program a computer to mimic the exact original style of, of the lights. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So right now I just have it cycling through all the colors that the LEDs can do. You can see it kind of slowly goes through them all. Let me show you what I've done. Well, you have several options for which LED light strips to purchase. I got the three um, lead version. There's also two and four. And I'll tell you kind of why I went for that. Um, the two, everything is either on or off. And so they, you can't address each LED individually. Now I do that up above, I, I don't have them on, but up above I do have some of those, and those are just my white lights, which will be on when the unit is, is playing. But as sort of my night light and what I have just circulating when it's not playing um, will be these lights. And as I said, they have three leads. Um, you can't really see it with them on. I may have to try and take them off, but you probably, maybe we could see that. If I put my finger over it, it might help there. There's the three leads going in. And actually my wire has four wires, but uh, I do have the three lead kind. And the reason why is that you can address LED, each LED, which was important to me, um, but you don't have to do much electronics work. If you go with the four LED, version, you got to put a capacitor and a um, resistor into the circuit. And I didn't want to build a big circuit. This was nice and easy. What happens is the two wires on both sides of on the outsides of this cable are plus and minus. And they are LEDs, so you have to get the plus right and you have to get the negative right, or they just won't work at all. Um, but once you get those on, it is, you've got sort of power to the, each of the bulbs that are in that strand. And then the center one is a data cable, or is a data line. And so it's going to be what really comes out of the computer and drives this unit. And so there are a couple pins on the computer that I'll show you. And one of them um, is just a power pin, and the other one is actually addressing data to each one of these and it's able to talk to each one and change their brightness and color. In the next section I'll show how to make the circuit and finally we'll look at building the software.